Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Bob, CEO and founder of Crypto Icon Media and you are watching Crypto Icon, our show where I talk about everything around crypto, web3 and blockchain technology. So today we will take a look at some of major crypto news and some hot updates, but please note that I'm not a financial advisor. It is just for information and entertainment purpose. So let's go for it. But before that, I'm just going to talk about current market price. So today's cryptocurrency price by market cap, the global crypto market cap is $1.07 trillion, which is <clears throat> 0.65% increase over the last day. The total crypto market over volume over the last 24 hours is uh, $29.29 .29 billion, which makes a 42.09% increase. The total volume in DeFi is currently $1.75 billion, which is 5.97% of the total crypto market 24 hour volume. The volume of all stable coin is now. 27.53 billion dollar which is 93.99 percent of the total crypto market 24 hour volume bitcoin dominance is currently 48.50 percent an increase of 0.33 percent over the day and uh, <clears throat> and today's bitcoin price is 26,881 dollar ethereum price is 1730 dollar bnb price is 240 dollar and Let's go for today's first story and this story is coming up from uh, the block.co so I would like to give this credit to the block and sorry so a story says crypto payments from wire set to shut down next month at one point wire was said to be acquired for over one billion dollar now it's shutting down the crypto payment firms said Friday evening that it plans to wind down its operation citing market condition. We made this decision to protect the best interest of our key stakeholders and customers, the firm said in a tweet. This decision is not due to any regulatory agency direction while continue to secure customers asset. The firm plans to keep withdrawal open to clients until July 14, after which points it will have a process to recover asset left on the platform. Founded in 2013, Wire has offered fiat to crypto infrastructure to companies operating in the crypto market. In April 2022, the firm was said to be acquired to check out and shop a network firm Bold in a deal that valued wire at a 1.5 billion dollar making it one of the biggest crypto deal to be announced the firm ambitions at the time were to decentralize consume uh, its commerce uniting their their technologies to evolve and simplify digital shop shopping the firm announced in september the deals uh, termination joining a flurry of fintech deals that have fallen apart including deal between UBS and Wealthfront and Galaxy Digital to Galaxy Digital and Bitco and let's go for second story and this story is coming up from Cointelegraph so I would like to give this credit to Cointelegraph and the story says Binance cancel registration for inactive business in the UK. Binance reason deregistration with the FCA did not have an operational impact as it had never done business in the United Kingdom, the firm said. Trouble cryptocurrency exchange Binance continues to withdraw from major market amid the ongoing pushback from global regulators. Binance Market Limited, Binance United Kingdom based subsidiary has official cancelled registration with the financial conduct authority bml held various fca permissions for activities that it never carried out or offered in the uk i spoke person for binance told coin telegraph adding as these uh, permissions were unlikely to be required in the future binance market limited decided that it would be uh, prudent to cancel them in line with the FCA's recommendations to keep these update. And let's go for third story. And uh, this story I got from Decrypt, so I would like to give this credit to Decrypt. 
and story says Binance said to integrate Bitcoin Lightning Network for deposit and withdrawals. The crypto exchange is running Lightning nodes ahead of fully integrating Bitcoin Lightning Network payments. Crypto exchange Binance has started running Lightning nodes ahead of uh, supporting Bitcoin's Lightning Network for deposit and withdrawals. Binance official Twitter account confirmed Tuesday morning saying yes, that is us, after some eagle-eyed users spotted on the exchanges, Lightning Network nodes Binance had first signed signaled the addition of Lightning Network support on May 8. In a Twitter post this morning, Binance noted that still more tech work needs to be done before it can support Lightning Network payments. The exchange responded to Decrypt's in inquiry about its expected timeline for launch saying, oh, we don't have it yet. Let's go for last story. Uh, this is a story I got from Crypto Potato. So I would like to give this credit to Crypto Potato. And the story says IMF working on global platform for CBDCs. CBDCs will require global interoperability to work best according to the International Monetary Fund. The International Monetary Fund is working on a global platform to make the central bank digital currency launched by numerous world government more interoperable reported writers on monday the agency believes uh, widespread agreement on such a platform may be necessary to ensure that private market cryptocurrencies don't fill a functional vacuum preparing for a world of cbdc's imf managing director christina Giorgio said on Monday that the agency platform is intended to enable CBDC transactions between countries. CBDC should not be fragmented national propositions, Georgian told African Central Bank at a conference in uh, Rabat, Morocco. To have more efficient and fair transactions, we need systems that connect countries, we need interoperability. For this reason, at the IMF, we are working on the concept of a global CBDC platform, she added. A CBDC is a digital native currency issued by a central bank, much like traditional fiat currencies. They may be backed by fiat currency or other asset like gold or treated, treated as a equivalent of those assets by the central bank. Georgieva emphasized that when cryptocurrencies are not designed in this manner, they are speculative investments. Some of, some of the purported benefit of CBDC include prompting financial inclusion and reducing payment cost. Average remittance fees are currently 6.3% amounting to $44 billion per year. If countries develop CBDCs only at domestic development, we are underutilizing their capacity, she added. The managing director noted that there are already 114 countries exploring CBDCs in some capacity with 10 already crossing the finish line. Many are still in early stage, however, with countries like the United States and Canada continuing to question whether or not developing one is worth it. And guys, this is the end of the story today. If you like the content of this video, please give me a thumbs up and press the subscribe button. Also press the notification bell icon so you will receive more content like this every day. And don't forget to check out our official link of major crypto platform in the description of this video. And I would love to hear your feedback and suggestions, so do comment your thoughts below. And please share this video with your friends on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Bob Ashish and also our Crypto Icon Media to learn more about our company. And let me talk about what exactly we do. Crypto Icon Media is a full service interactive media agency, digital marketing, social media and branding. And get yourself a ledger, keep your coins safe, buy the top rated hardware wallet in the market. And you can find the link on the description of this video. And guys, if you want to get 100 USDT, so get world biggest crypto exchange Binance and deposit more than $50 into your Binance account and we will both get 
100 USDT as a cashback voucher. And guys, if you are listening to this content on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any other podcast platform, then do hop on our YouTube channel for the real action. Thank you once again. Have a great day. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, please support us. Thank you.